I wrote to the Security Council invoking Article 99 because we are at a breaking point. There is a high risk of the total collapse of the humanitarian support system in Gaza, which would have devastating consequences. We anticipate that it would result in a complete breakdown of public order and increased pressure for mass displacement into Egypt. I fear the consequences could be devastating for the security of the entire region. We have already seen the spillover in the occupied West Bank, Lebanon, Syria, Iraq, and Yemen. Conditions in shelters are overcrowded and unsanitary. People nurse open wounds. Hundreds of people stand in line for hours to use one shower or toilet. Families who have lost everything sleep on bare concrete floors, wearing clothes they have not changed for two months. Tens of thousands of Palestinians arrived in Rafah in recent days, overwhelming shelters there. Many displaced families, including children, older people, pregnant women, and people with disabilities, are sleeping in streets and public spaces across the city. Mr. President, second, Gazans are running out of food. According to the World Food Program, there is a serious risk of starvation and famine. In northern Gaza, 97% of households are not eating enough. In the south, the figure among displaced people is 83%. Half the people of the north and more than one third of displaced people in the south are simply starving. WFP zone food stocks are running out. In the north, nine out of 10 people have spent at least one full day and night without food. The last functioning floor meal in Gaza was destroyed on 15 November. WFP has provided food and cash assistance to hundreds of thousands of people across Gaza since the crisis began and is ready to scale up its operations. However, that would require effective access to all people in need and at least 40 trucks of food supplies every day, many times the current level. Mr. President, third, Gaza health system is collapsing while needs are escalating. At least 286 health workers have been killed. Hospitals have suffered heavy bombardment. Just 14 out of 36 are still functioning. Of these, three are providing basic first aid, while the others are delivering partial services. The European Gaza Hospital, one of the two main hospitals in southern Gaza, has 370 beds. It is currently housing 1,000 patients and an estimated 70,000 people seeking shelter. There are critical shortages of drugs, blood products, and medical supplies. Fuel to run the hospitals is severely rationed. Many patients are being treated on the floor and without anesthetics. As patients with life-threatening injuries continue to arrive, wards are overflowing and staff are overwhelmed. At the same time, the unsanitary conditions in shelters and severe shortages of food and water are leading to increases in respiratory infections, scabies, jaundice, and diarrhea. Everything I just described represents an unprecedented situation that led to my unprecedented decision to invoke Article 99 urging the members of the Security Council to press to avert a humanitarian catastrophe and appealing for a humanitarian ceasefire to be declared. From breaking news, detailed analysis, in-depth interviews and explainers, follow the Times of India. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to like our videos and hit the bell icon to stay updated with the latest.